Do your moments of grace sustain you in your valley of darkness? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. A baseball game took place one day between the Lord's team and Satan's team. The Lord's team was at bat, the score was 0-0, to and it was in the bottom of the ninth inning, the last inning with two outs. In baseball, three outs means you have no more chance to bat, and the other team can win if they hit the ball and send a batter to home base. Every batter who crosses the home plate scores a point. You must have a higher score after the last inning, the ninth, to win. The coach and the Lord stood by observing the game. As they watched, a batter stepped up the plate whose name was Love. Love swung at the first pitch and hit a single because love never fails. The next batter was named Faith who also got a single because faith works with love. The next batter was named Godly Wisdom. Satan wound up and threw the first pitch. Godly Wisdom looked it over and let it pass. Ball one. Three more pitches and godly wisdom walked because godly wisdom never swings at what Satan throws. The bases were loaded. The Lord then turned to coach and told him he was now going to bring in his star player. Up to the plate stepped Grace. Coach said, he sure doesn't look like much. Satan's whole team relaxed when they saw Grace. Thinking he had won the game, Satan wound up and fired his first pitch. To the shock of everyone, Grace hit the ball harder than anyone had ever seen, but Satan was not worried as his center fielder let very few get by. He went up for the ball, but it went right through his glove, hit him on the head, and sent him crashing on the ground. Then it continued over the fence for a home run. The Lord's team won. The Lord then asked Coach if he knew why love, faith, and godly wisdom could get on base but could not win the game. Coach answered that he didn't know why, The Lord explained, If your love, faith, and wisdom had won the game, you would think you had done it by yourself. Love, faith, and wisdom will get you on base, but only my grace can get you home. In today's Gospel reading, the three disciples, Peter, James, and John, behold Jesus and His Father in a glorious experience that no man has and will ever see. Jesus' intense moment with His Father has made Him transfigured. Peter uttered the words, Lord, it is good that we are here. Indeed, when we are overcome with awe as God works His miracles in our life, we want to remain in those moments of grace. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, says Peter. We want to bask permanently, if possible, in the assuring presence of our Lord. But our reality is not a perfect fairy tale. When the disciples came down from the mountain, the topic of discussion shifted to suffering and death. We too experience our own times of testing as the tentacles of trials sweep through our life. We are being taught that our prayer life must not be broken in the midst of our storms. They keep us directed. They keep us grounded. The miracles we experienced in the past when God's graciousness enveloped our life should accompany us as we walk down the mountain of exhilaration to our valley of tears. May our prayer life transform us to recognize that grace abounds to all who seek it. As grace brings us light, so shall grace sustain us as we walk in our own valley of darkness. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, may the light of your grace suffocate the shadows of darkness that seek to suppress my faith. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.